Well, several new state laws go into effect today, including several dealing with renters' rights. And Denver 7's Christian Lopez breaks down one of the new laws designed to make housing more attainable and explains why this comes as a big relief for many in our state. One of the new laws caps income requirements and the amount landlords can charge for security deposits. This is really going to benefit college students and young adults who are just starting out. I'm in grad school right now. Dakota Hitchner and her dog Apollo moved to Colorado a year ago. Oh my gosh, love it. Best city on earth. I love Denver. What she didn't love was having to find a place to live. We applied to one place, got denied. Ended up actually having like not having a house for two weeks because it took so long to find a place. Wow. I was like staying with friends. Now, a new law in Colorado has changed that minimum income requirement to two times the amount of rent before you had to make three times the amount. It's like, you know, if you don't make three times the rent, yeah. like there's literally nowhere to live. And it also caps the amount landlords can charge for security deposits to two times the amount of rent. That's nice. <laughs> That's a lot easier, <laughs> a lot more achievable. But not everyone is excited about the new law. I don't see why the government at all should be telling a landlord what the criteria should be. Like this landlord I spoke to when the bill was first passed. You're putting landlords in a very difficult position. State Representative Meg Froelich was a prime sponsor of the bill. Back in April, she told me the timing of this was critical. The folks who can't afford to pay a deposit of three times their monthly rent are teachers first responders and folks we want living in our community. Dakota says it's a big relief for her, especially because she's moving again in a month. Definitely very helpful, especially honestly, mostly the two like only needing to make two times the rent. That makes such a big difference. When she does move into her new place next month, she'll be taking her dog with her and another new law will also help her save some money on her pet deposit. The most a landlord can charge is $300 and it has to be refunded and pet rent is capped at $35 a month or 1.5% of the monthly rent amount. Reporting in Denver, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. Now the move over law, it also went into effect today and it requires drivers to move over a lane for any vehicle stopped on a highway with its hazards, with its hazards flashing. Now the original law only required drivers to move over for emergency vehicles, tow trucks, public utility vehicles. If you can't move over, Colorado State Patrol says you have to slow down to at least 20 miles per hour before, below the speed limit. If you do not follow these new rules, you could face a $150 fine and get docked three points on your license.